Hi everyone, Joe here. Now, if you're like me, you will love, now and again, an underwater sea adventure. Now, this one is a little bit retro. It's a little bit 70s, only because it was made in the 70s, but it was written by the same writer of Jaws, so you know it's going to be good. It stars Nick Nolte, Robert Shaw as this time a treasure hunter, not a shark hunter, and also Jacqueline Bisset. Yes, from 1977. It's the deep. Yes, have you seen it? It's a wonderful sea adventure about these two people, Jacqueline Bisset, Nick Nolte, a young couple, newlyweds. They are in Bermuda, they are experienced scuba divers, and what they like to do is scuba dive, obviously, among other things, when they're at the bottom of the sea, see what they can find. See, what, see if they can find treasure to bring back to where they are. And it just so happens one day that they come across a boatload of treasure. Yes, which is in fact a boatload of treasure. But with the treasure, they find small vials, small bottles of what turns out to be morphine now the best guy they can go to to find out about this because they find uh, also a piece of treasure is the best guy on the island who is a treasure hunter robert shaw so they they bring this artifact that they find at the bottom of the sea plus this bottle which turns out to be a very small bottle of morphine and he says, oh, you're, you're in, tr you know, this is, this is trouble. I don't want to, anything to do with this, but I'm going to look at this artifact here. It looks like it's from, you know, the 17th century and things like that. And he is intrigued, but he's also a little bit intrigued to get down into the bottom of the sea to find out if there is more treasure. So on one particular occasion, Robert Shaw and Nick Nolte, who have then become friends with Jacqueline Bissett, they head down to the bottom of the sea and yes, they come across some treasure that they need to get out. And also, it isn't just one bottle of morphine they find. They find thousands, thousands, just very small bottles. And it turns out that it did come from a shipwreck years ago and Eli Wallach, who plays a small appearance as like a sort of friend, a sort of aide to Robert Shaw's character, who also has a touch of jealousy. He has something to do with that boat. Maybe, maybe he drove the boat. Maybe he was one of the workers on it. He seems to know a lot about that boat and the fact that they have been down there for years. He's also a snitch and he lets the local bad guy of the area Lou Gossett, or Lewis Gossett Jr., as we, you know, we really know. He is the bad guy of the piece. He hears about the morphine bottle and wants to buy it off Nick Nolte for a small price. He doesn't want to sell it to Nick Nolte. But then the threats start coming from Lewis Gossett. He says you've got to be the, off the island in a couple of days or, you know, there's going to be trouble. So they strike a deal. Robert Shaw, Nick Nolte to go down get the bottles that they need for the morphine because you know he's the big crime lord of the area they don't want to they don't want to fuss they've already been threatened Jacqueline Bissett has already been threatened with a sort of voodoo style rape yes there is a voodoo style rape without actually doing you know the full thing you'll have to watch it to find out and that's a scary moment in the in the film threatening his wife you know if if threats weren't you know being taken you know we're going to get your wife and that is a very you know harsh kind of uh, scene to watch but in between that we have some wonderful underwater scenes that you might expect from you know such a movie and we do have a little bit of a twist protecting the area, protecting the treasure, protecting the morphine. Well, not actually protecting because it's it's the home of this sea creature. We have a giant 
what looks like a giant moray eel that that when it it makes its presence known it's absolutely gigantic and it could have easily have been when peter benchley is writing this he could have easily changed it to that of a shark and this could have been jaws 2 before jaws 2 came along but he didn't and we got the fantastic jaws 2 in 1978 but this eel is protecting your it seems like it's protecting the area just because it lives there and at the start of the film at the very start of the film Nolte, Nick Nolte and Jacqueline Bisses are swimming around looking for treasure picking up shells and Jacqueline Bissett almost gets her arm pulled off by this eel that we don't see at first pulling her under some coral and later on we get to see what it actually looks like and then during the course of the film it's forgotten about for a little bit which is good because it comes back in the end with a little bit of a twist ending you don't expect the eel to turn up and take care of business so with all that said have I intrigued you to watch the deep again and have I even intrigued you a little bit to check it out if you haven't seen it before it's a great like I say a great underwater adventure it's written by the same writer of Jaws which is my favorite film of all time even though I've got my Jurassic Park t-shirt on today gives you a kind of an example of uh, who could be one of my favorite film directors hmm. Anyway, this aside, check out, check out The Deep from 1977, starring Nick Nolte, Jacqueline Bissett, and Robert Shaw giving just a, as a brilliant a performance as he did as Quint in Jaws. He's really good in this movie as the old seafaring treasure hunter this time instead of shark hunter. So check out the Deep, The Deep from 1977, and I shall see you all next time when we're going to be talking definitely about something. See you next time.